Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I want to show you the tag that I did for Tim Holtz Tags of 2012 for this month, which is November. And of course, um, fall is what is the big deem about all this tag and and Thanksgiving also it's part of the art involved for this tag. Now, of course, I didn't use all of the stuff that he has. I wish I had it, but I don't. So I had to manage once again to create my own little things and try to get close, a little bit close, until what he did. Um, the um, the ta his tag is is beautiful. I mean, I if you want to see his, please go to his blog or to his website, and you will find that that tag for this month. It's really really nice. Um, the the amount of techniques and things that he used in this tag is um, it's most of the things I've done in the past, which is really really cool because it was not something that I had struggled doing it. So you know, basically basically the whole concept of it was you know make it as much closer as I could. Now, in his tag, you're going to find a different wording. He is um, a stamp, a beautiful stamp with like these huge letters that says thankful. I, I in my stash found this one that says gratitude. And the beauty about this stamp specifically is that if you see closely, it's engraved with branches and leaves around it, which just makes it really, really nice. That's the only thing that I could find that it was you know white letters and 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 it would come kind of close to what he has not not as close but you know it, it made the job um he also used a very beautiful stamp from his um actually all of the stamp he used was from his collection and i'm going to tell you the name of that collection the name of the collection is um let me see, because I, I can tell you what he used, and then if you want to go check it out, or if you want to get, actually, the set of stamps, I guess it would be cool. I wish I had them, though. He used two sets. He used the, um, the Team Hold Clean Rubber Stamp Thankful Silhouettes. And he used the other one, which is uh, something background. Let me check. Let me check for you really quick. It, it would be the uh, Tim Holtz Clean Rubber Stamps Mix Media from 2012. So uh, that's kind of a background stamping. That's really cool for mixed media. That's something I really want to get, of course. They're really cool. And he also used something that I didn't have because I choose to buy um, the floral one. But for the cuttings that he uses in his tag, he used the Team Hall C6 die called Autumn Gathering, and uh, it's which is beautiful. And I don't have that, of course, but I, you know, who knows? Maybe in the future, I'll get it. So anyway. The technique of this tag was a very cool experience to do. I did some things that I already knew, some others that I applied that it was fun to do. Um, the, as you see, there there's a lot of distress, distress um, stains. I, I use embossing powder. I use, um, you know, distress ink. And then for the cutouts, like I said, he used the special um, die that he has. Well, what I did in my end was um, to cut everything by hand. So I actually draw them and just cut them out with a scissor. And that was the result. Of course, it's not as beautiful as his, but, you know, hey, <laughs> I can't, I can't, you know, I came a little bit close. And then, uh, then... And the embellishment part as well, he has a different, you know, a different thing, a different whole setup. I'll just suggest you go there and watch it. 
if you want but this is the one I created for him I'm also going to post it up and uh, basically I had lots of fun making it I do have a lot of fun making this tags I really like them very much and the fun part about it is that you learn new techniques and new things to incorporate in different projects so anyways guys I hope you like it and if you like what you see please rate comment and subscribe and thanks for watching goodbye